Hi everyone, so we're doing a little update on this tank. As you can see, it's grown in and starting to look nicer, but we're gonna probably get some more plants today. And I've come to the decision that I'm gonna be rehoming the Pandagara. He's just there in the corner. He's been my little buddy for a couple of years now and it's kind of sad to see him go, but he has no place in my tank back home. It's fully stocked and in this tank, he's become a bit of a bully and I originally set up this tank with the idea in mind that I wanted it to be a breeding project with the Nanakara Animala. So unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to rehome them today and I'll show you where I'm going to today also. So let's get into this. Right, so we've made it to the shop. We're just outside now. We're going to have a little look at for a new schooling fish for the tank today. Hand over the Pandagara and see what else is in there. So let's get into it. When entering the shop, I completely forgot that it was delivery day for plants and new fish. So <laughs> it was absolutely filled to the brim with new stuff. So I was having a little look at these gold tetra and they did pique my interest as they are a fish I've wanted to keep in the past. It's been a little while since I've been in the shop and this display tank, I think it's been changed around slightly. There's some new fish and puffers and... It's a beautiful little display in my opinion. As I said previously, there was a fresh shipment of fish today, so the beta section was absolutely filled to the brim. These are some of probably the best female fighters that I've seen in a long time. Of course, we had to go and revisit this display tank that every single time I come in here, I have to have a look and this time around there was an epistogram of Hongshui in here and the finish on him was absolutely stunning. Here's just another example of how many plants that they get in and it's absolutely stocked to the brim. This was the first time in person that I've actually seen this fish, the albino pygmy cori. I've seen some rumblings of them existing online, but I didn't actually knew they were a thing. Now originally I was going to go with the gold tetra, but after spotting these orange bolivian tetra, oh my god I had to have them. Also if you have the free sticker, pop down to something fishy. So we're back from our trip, a haircut later, let's see what we got. So I was very lucky that they had a little clip to put some plants in and I bought two different species of pofos. So I'm going to give that a try alongside obviously the peace lily. So this is going to all grow in and be nice and bushy. We also bought two mixed pots of different types of crypt corn. So this is mixed brown and this one is mixed green. We also got ourselves six orange Bolivian Tetra. And I also got a couple packs of frozen food too. So I'm going to take these to my girlfriends now and let's see how the tank looks. So yeah, that was an eventful day. We've had a little fish shop visit. We bought some new things for the main tank at home and also this tank. And seeing these Bolivian oranges, the behavior is amazing. I don't know why I've never considered them before. But they have been in the back of my mind for a while. I did almost get the gold tetra, but I'll be honest, I'm glad I opted for these. The, the body shape and the behavior and the way they stand out and the color too. So 
I'm really glad that I chose them, but yeah. Thanks for watching the video anyway. We're almost at a thousand. If not, we'll be on a thousand by this video is out. So make sure to click subscribe and press the notification bell for future content. I'll see you later. Take it easy.